it up, keep it up. There Hey, how's it going everyone? Mark Villarreal with Los Canaleros del 956. Today, we find ourselves out here fishing for some alligator gar in these beautiful waters of South Texas. And my guest of honor, as you can see to my left, is Brandon Soto El Gallito de Oro, Cali Productions, the 956 amateur division boxer here. Um, he's gonna be the guest of honor and he's pretty confident that he's gonna catch a fish yep. with Los Canaleros del 956. Also his father, Cali Soto, he's right there. Um, he's recording for us today. Hey, and what's up guys? That, those are my guests of honor for today. So Brandon over here, he's a great kid. He's a boxer, he loves the sport. And um, we came to uh, bring him out here, clear his mind a little bit and get ready for that fight in Wichita, Kansas that he's coming up it's pretty soon. So uh, Brandon, what do you think about today's fishing trip? I feel very confident that we're gonna catch a big fish today. He feels very confident. Brandon, how old are you? 11. 11 years old. So what's the best thing you like to do? Uh, I like to box and fish. Awesome, and your dad takes you fishing? Yeah. And um, about your dad, uh, Cali Productions. Does I, I if I'm on, if I understand well, he's your trainer. Mhm. Mm awesome. And how long have you been training with your dad? Uh, like since I was like four. Four years old. He's 11 years old, everyone, and he's been training with his father. His father has been his trainer. And uh, man, this kid is out there. He's giving it his all, and he is going to kick some butt. Um, so. One more question for you, Brandon. If you had one thing to say to all the other little kids of your age, what would you tell them? Um, I don't know. You don't know? That's okay. That's okay. What if they're trying to, to be a boxer like you? What would you tell them? What would you to advise them? What would you suggest them? Never give up and keep on going. Heck yeah. Brandon, can you give us a little uh, boxer pose for the camera? Yep. <laughs> there you go everybody 956 all the way everyone wish us the best of luck do not forget to hit that subscribe button let's put brandon and his father kali on an epic fishing trip adventure of a lifetime something they can uh, remember for the rest of their lives memories like these will never be erased and will be carried on for many many years um i feel pretty confident that we're gonna catch something and uh my guest I, I i enjoy their company we had a great uh time driving over here to our spot so let's do some fishing everyone and i hope to see you all on the water fish on ready we're gonna get our rod and reel setups ready um we're gonna be using an lcd 956 liter for those of you all that do not know these are lcd 956 liters these are um, created and manufactured by your one and only mr mark myself um so here's just a little just a little sample so y'all can see what I mean by LCD 956 liters. These are my liters. Um, I have maybe about six different styles and I have them in floats and I have them in non-floats. So we, what we will be using is a non-float, which is your bottom liter, which is not gonna have a float. It's gonna be on the bottom. And check it out. We do have these awesome, these new big floats. They will not be available all the time these are though these will always be available but these jumbo floats will not be available all the time i do have other floats that are available all the time and if you want to get yourself on these awesome leaders visit our website at www.lcd956baitandtackle.com i'll leave the link below check them out for yourself if you want to get on some awesome merchandise as well just visit the website we have rods we have reels we have uh we have lead weights leaders and more so go ahead and visit our website let's let's get our our setup ready so this is an m2a leader this is my famous m2a leader 
basically I created it with this double J hook and I, I made it for the purpose of going through the fish's mouth coming out of the fish's uh, poop hole and then you slide your fish all the way down you can use it for your big heads also and just put it through the mouth of the head take it out to the other end where you cut your fish and just slide it all the way down this this leader has been very productive for us um, let's go ahead and get a live fish out there do you think you can get one yeah. if you want to pick up the basket if it's easier for you oh you got it there you go so we're going to try it with this live fish see if we can do it so basically we're going to put the the leader in the fish's mouth and i'm going to try to get it out through the poop hole hopefully i can do it without killing him he feels it <laughs> regardless if he dies um it's still going to be good it's bleeding a little bit so it's probably going to help us a little see so i can feel the leader in there i just need something to help me get it out a little bit i'm just going to open up a little bit i'm going to push my leader Here we go. We're gonna push that fish all the way down. That's it right there. Check that out. That's gonna be tied to our line, our uh, fishing line. My hands are a little messy. It's alright. I'll wash my hands right now. Check it out. Check it out. Don't y'all just. Can't you all just see how beautiful that setup looks? How promising it looks? Hopefully it's as good as it looks, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and tie my leader to my fishing line and then we're gonna cast. Boy, I'm gonna wash my hands first and then you're gonna see me cast. reason why I wash my hands because I don't want to get my uh, fishing rod dirty and bloody and gutty and all that yucky stuff on it so we are using a live liner aka a bait feeder this is what I use all the time for alligator gar fishing most of the time I'm using a bait feeder we're using a uh, Shakespeare ugly stick catfish rod but my my number one rods are my LCD 956 custom rods just like this one this is an LCD 956 custom rod and um, I built them perfect for the job for alligator guard fishing. So let's go ahead and cast it out a little bit. So now we're gonna set it and we're gonna forget it. So we're gonna set up our other lines. But before I let y'all go, I'm gonna show y'all something that I have going on here. It's a uh, it's a new prototype that we have. Uh, I'm not sure if maybe I should uh, show y'all already, but what the heck, right? Let's go ahead and show y'all. Check it out, baby. This right here is a LCD 956. First ever, first ever alligator gar bait bombs. This is an attractant. It's to attract those gars, those catfish in. It's going to dissolve little by little. And it just has some pretty neat stuff in it that uh, unfortunately I can't share with you all. But we're going to try it out today. So as you can see, I'm going to toss it in the water. You want to get me over here? I'm going to toss them over here. I don't know. That's what I want to see. Okay, everybody. So a quick update. Um, we we're fishing with a rod and the reels and uh, while trying to look for the jugs or trying to keep up with the jugs from far we, we kept an eye on them for a while we kind of just you know not pay attention to them and suddenly we turned suddenly we turned towards the jugs and we saw one um, moving fast so I think it might have something we don't know for sure but we're going to find out and that's what we're doing right now I don't know if you can see the jug, but it's right there. It looks critical. Hey, <laughs> I'm trying to see if I see something on my on my fish radar. One of them was 
by the bridge, probably underwater. One, two, and three. I only see three so far. Five. So we're missing two. I'm eating one for right so that's the jug right there. The black, the black uh, point, that's where the leader's at. So we would see something. We're going to see it getting pulled by the black point by the front. Get the, get the hook. If you stay the hook, for whatever reason, you can let go of the hook. It should float. Yeah, no. It's moving, yeah. Look, look. Now the now the black's pointing that way. Why is it moving? Like because it's it? swimming. The the garden or whatever is on there, he hears us. I would try to get that rod ready to get to loop that that loop. Uh, I'm losing the drag a little bit until we have it looped and we can try to fight it if there's something. Let me see. Okay, hold the camera. This is the hook. It's a nice little catfish. Oh, good one, good one, guys. <laughs> we don't need a hook, come on here. Good catfish. Nice blue head. Nice. Pretty cool. Check it out, Randy. Right okay, put it on. Good. Ooh, nice, beautiful cat. First guys. fish on the jug. This is gonna give some good eating right here. We're trying to get some good stuff too. So hopefully we get yeah. some guards. We got some more. I see. I see that other float all the way over there. So that's gonna be next. Uh -huh. Nice, beautiful. Put them in here. Other side. So check it out, everybody. Beautiful nice um, blue catfish. Alright. Oh yeah. First catch. First catch, baby. It's always good to have a variety of species on the boat. Check out that J hook. Just a single J hook. Um, it's already been to battle and it has one. Hopefully you can say the same about it today, right? I'm gonna go ahead and put a nice piece of carp. So basically again under the that dorsal fin you stick it through one side make sure it comes out through the other always make sure your hook is exposed you want to make sure you have that great hook exposure if not where is the fish gonna get hooked from right or hooked on so that's our other leader this is our single j hook we got our um, m2a we got our single j now let's go ahead and cast this one I'm gonna cast it and if you want you can show the bait as soon as it flies over there so they can see where how far I can cast it. That's all. Wish us the best of luck baby. I gotta just point it to where it's going. It's riding. Let's go. Got a monster fish. There we go. Don't don't pick it up or nothing. Just let it ride with it. Let it ride. Yeah, he's not ready at, at all yet. He's just uh swimming with it in his huh? mouth. We gotta wait for him to start swallowing that bait. So give him some time. Right. You, feel, you feel that? No. Yeah. What do you feel? You gotta just let him. I can feel him. like he's, he's jerking. Wow, 
gonna say that this is a beef ready? Right, let it right. right the way. Get it right. Wait, but where, how far is it going? Let it ride, bro. Just, just, just enjoy the ride, bro. Just enjoy the ride with it. We're going to let him go until he's almost done with that line, and then we're going to set the hook. Because we can't let him run more than that. All right, so we have our first run of the day and it is very aggressive. It just picked up that bait and it just kept swimming. When I say run, I mean swim. So that's what I mean when, whenever I say a gar's running before uh, those know-it-alls say, oh, it's, the gar's don't run, fish don't run. My meaning of running is swimming. So yeah, it's swimming. So basically he's allowing it to swim far enough because right now what the gar's doing, he picked up the bait, he has it, more than likely he has it at the tip of his mouth and he's just swimming with the bait. That is the most common thing that they do. Some will swallow the bait instantly and swim away. Most of them are going to get it on the tip of its mouth and swim and swim and swim until they're comfortable enough for for them to swallow that. Oh. Keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. There we go. Oh, damn. <laughs> keep it up, keep it up. Let him get hooked, let him get hooked. Okay, reel in some line, reel in some line. Pull and reel in some line. Pull, pull, there. Reel in some line, reel in some line. Slow. I hope so. No. Yeah. There you go. Pull and reel. Don't pull too hard. There you go. Pull and reel. Slowly pull in and then reel in your slack. That's all you gotta do. Always keep your rod up. Good. Yes, keep pulling him in just like that. We don't want him to go and turn around and get stuck in the sticks because there's sticks over there. You ready to, to point the rod that way? He's gonna run that way. There you go. Yeah, pull it. He wants to go through the sticks. Yeah, just hold him like that. Don't pull him. Just hold him. They can change your regular. Just hold him. Come this way. This side. This side. Be careful with that stick. When you're on the rod. He's gonna come around, he's gonna... There you go. Andale. Try to pull him out. Careful, slowly, man. slowly, slowly, bring Careful. him around. There you go, there you go, there you go. Nice. He's big, he's big. Ooh. Oh, it's gonna break the fish. No, 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 don't, don't put too much pressure. Let him, let him take off when he needs to. There you go, let him, it's okay. That rod will handle it. <laughs> that rod will handle it. This is a this is about bucket list right here, buddy. Big Brandon. All right, Brandon, uh, move a little bit. Away, Papa. So I can. Uh... Damn, oh. <laughs> bro. He's hooked, so so oh, yeah. don't put too much pressure. Do you want me to put the thing wait, 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 wait. Get out the way, get. Out. How you put the thing? No, 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 no,
Whoa. No, don't, don't pick him up. Don't pick him up. Let him, let him. He's real hooked. So. I, jump in I need you to hold the camera towards him. Just don't, keep don't filming him. him. Don't, don't put your finger in. Don't put your finger on the there. Yeah, hold it right there. You're going to drop it like that. Yeah. Hold it right, Brandon. Okay. Grab, it, hold it. Grab it tight because he's going to start fighting right now when he gets closer. Yeah, bro. Look at this monster. Slowly, slowly. Get back, get back, get back. Get back, hold on. Watch out, man. Dang. My last one. Watch out. Watch out, Brandon. Get up. Just be careful, but don't fall into the water. Let me see your foot. Keep filming, but be careful. Watch out, watch out, watch out. Watch out. You're going to take that pink thing. You're taking the pink rope. It's okay, it's okay. Slowly bring him towards me. Slowly bring him towards me. Slowly, 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 slowly. If he, if he runs, let him run. Yeah. He's gonna get pissed off. Oh, he's getting mad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, put this through the rock. There we go. That's it. That's all she rode right there. That's how she wrote. <laughs> Hell yeah, bro. Brennan, hold on, hold on. Hell yeah, that's what we're talking about. Mark Villarrealos, Canaleros 956, baby. Right here. We waited all day since the morning. Little shit happened here and there. But we got it, baby. <laughs> oh, damn, carnal. That's some yeah. fucking badass shit. Brennan, get the camera. Hold on, Now come over here. I'm going to try to see what I can. Here, Brennan, take Record us. Record us. Record everything. Record the monster. Damn, bro. Get that. No, 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 no. I got it, I got it. Look at this monster. Monster. That's a horse right there, man. Yeah, Bobby. Looky here. Looky here. <laughs> Brandon, yeah. careful with the camera, Papa. Big horse right there. Damn it. I look almost right over. I wanna gotta be careful in this process right here. Is it a five-footer or more? No, way bigger. <laughs> yeah, Brandon. You know what? That's what we're going to do. Let me see if I can get him. Yeah, get over here and then record right there. Yeah, careful. Record more. No, no, it's good, it's good. Hold it right, hold it tight. Pinche de irte hasta el tronco que no me lo pesco la orilla, cabrón. No me está hasta el tronco la orilla. Thank God, brother. Is that like a five footer? It's a six footer, probably. Come on. Bigger than you, I can tell you that, bro. <laughs> yeah, bro. Big 
the teeth and everything. Ready? Oh, it's gonna be Little brother, little brother. He's fat. Get yeah. him from here to here. Slow, slow, slow motion. Slowly, slowly, okay. slowly. Yeah, bro. Let me take, go back a little bit. Let me. Hold on, Brenda. Como Pablo Escobar. All right, everybody. So, a quick update of what's going on here on the LCD 956 boat. Um, as you all saw, Brandon and his uh, father, Kali, they just landed an epic gar. That gar is probably close to six foot. We're gonna measure him once we get back to the camp. Um, we're gonna give it about another 10, 15 minutes until we have to uh, pack up and go so we can have some daylight to be able to clean that gar, maybe do a badass uh, video for you all of us cleaning the gar, measuring it, hanging it up, all that good stuff. Um, we did pretty awesome. Brandon's over there uh, munching out, I think, eating some oh, yeah. chips. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and Kali's in the back waiting for the next monster car. <laughs> Man, we gotta get another trip soon. <laughs> so yeah, everyone, uh, don't forget to book your trip if you wanna come out here and enjoy some of this uh, epic fishing monster of a lifetime that you may be able to catch. Um, I try my best to put my clients on some epic uh, fish and another successful trip i gotta thank the man upstairs we do have a little bit of issues with my vehicle it's it's not starting but a big shout out to raul reyes out there in mccallan texas he is coming driving two and a half hours to the rescue <laughs> <laughs> he is probably about an hour away that's another reason why we have to pack up because uh, raul is almost on his way i don't want to have him waiting at camp he's gonna get my my truck started and everything and um we're gonna cook out um, we're gonna clean the guard, we're gonna cook out, we're gonna try to get my truck fixed, we're gonna eat, picnic out, and it's gonna be a great afternoon after this. Um, do not forget to hit that subscribe button. We did it with the LCD 956 alligator guard leaders. Some of the best stuff on the market. If you wanna get yourself a nice pack of leaders, or two or three or 10 or 20, visit our website at www.lcd956baitandtackle.com. Los Canaleros 956, baby. <laughs> Will not disappoint. Book your trip now. Cali yes. Productions. You heard it from Cali Productions. Another big shout out to Cali Productions Boxing out there. Um, and uh, we want to wish Brandon the best of luck out there in Wichita, Kansas. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He's going to go kick some butt. He's going to give it his all. And he's going to go very motivated after this trip. And he's going to tell all his friends. He's going to show his friends the video. And um, it was a pretty awesome day with, with these guys, with the father and son. As always, making memories. <laughs> As always, making memories, right, everybody? Yes, Just sir, like yes, sir. That, that's that's Good that's, job, Mark. that's Good what job. we do Good out job, here. Mark. We want to make memories for you all. So book a trip, everybody. Much love on behalf of Los Canaleros 956. Stay tuned. We got more action for you all. We're gonna head to the camp and we're gonna get started on some guard cleaning, everybody. Are they down next to me? Wait, it's dead already. Yeah. Lay down next to it real fast, bro. Hey, oh no. <laughs> bigger than you, Brandon. Way bigger, bro. Right, let's not talk about that. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so. So I kind of already started bleeding him out a little bit. I'm going to show you all what I did. Basically, I flipped them over. And right here by the gills in the bottom, I cut straight down through his gills from one side to the other. I cut straight down. You can see, look what I did. The reason why I'm bleeding him out is because he's going to pump out all that blood. And when I clean him, the meat's going to be white and very good quality stuff. So I cut him. I'm gonna put him in the water so he can pump out all that blood. All that blood can stream out. That's what we're doing here. We're gonna leave him in there maybe for about 10 minutes. And then uh, 
we'll continue with uh, the laying process, right? Until then, I'm gonna organize the boat a little bit. And uh, by the time I'm done, we're gonna start cleaning some guard, baby.